going to be happy to see another invitation for SKT to want to take it late. They want gold now. They want more kills, and they're back. Yeah, well, the Predator is going to come in. Impale is available, but score just going to be knocked up. Takes oh! out the Lantern forever, and they pick up the kill on the blank. There's a long ride, and there's basically the entire rift. That's the roller coaster. Oh, That's baby. The, we've seen it. The KT roller coaster was just demonstrated. We've seen it so many times. You don't pop champ every time, but this time was the time of all times. Watch this. Maximum range ride. Whee! Whee! He says as he goes all the way along. He's still suppressed. <laughs> Ludicrous stuff. All those minions will be there advantage. Teleport comes in, they're gonna fight! All right, Infernal Dragon's going incredibly low. Picked up by Team Liquid, that's the second of the game. Xmidi gets chunked down. Let somebody heal, keeps him alive a few seconds longer. Long range, death centers, connects up to impact, and look at the lantern! It brings KT Rolster all the way to Team Liquid. Hobart is running for his life. Watch you by Ace All right, so there you go, you can see, yeah, Smithy, he once again lands the smite, gets the objective for his team, but he goes down for it, as well as Ole trying to protect him, and Mata lands the Thresh Hook, lassos impact to secure a third kill. Oh, and that's going to show himself, so he's going to push it out there. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh the hook coming in towards BT, they pulled him into the tower end. Oh, they're going to finish him off. One more auto attack when they've done it. There is him going aggressive. He gets the kill on BT. Can he take on it? Oh, well. my! Amazing! Jin Air standing on top of Ward, they're gonna disengage for it. score! He gets caught by the Ash Arrow, flashes away immediately. Oh, big ultimate! Smith, straight into the back! That's gonna be Mata throwing down the ultimate. He gets locked up and he's gonna be the first one to fall. Flash over the wall by Snowflower, just take him out to safety, but Kuzan goes down. Two members have fallen at the side of Jin Air. In even games like this, you need a game breaker. It's Mata once again. Remember, Royal Never Give Up versus TSM, and his engages on Alistair. He just beasted a team fight with the flash into the Raptor Pit, into Ultimate on the Zyra. Will get himself a ward down on the red ball. Back down the bottom. Explosive wow. damage back and forth. Now, mate, taking a big oh. lead. Death that just lands on towards him. The wave comes riding through along with the Aqua Prison on Nami. Taken very low. Has to back away from this one. Mana bounces it. Mana gets it. Fantastic flash there. A great play from the bottom lane. Man, there was no way out. And now they want more here, SKT. <laughs> Baker just scuttling his way on in. They're gonna burst down that Karthus. Doesn't do much. Has the Requiem. Not even gonna use it here. Baker, though. No, it's not enough time to flash forward. Oh, and Mata got him! Gets the kill. The bloodthirsty support comes on in. Mata picks up the gangplank. There's side. nothing more satisfying than fissuring someone to death. It's only about 150 damage, but it's all he needed. We're not in the late game yet, Valdez. And if they continue to play around side, you can hear. How good Mata feels after the Glacial Fissure kill. They think it's warded because of how close he's standing, but it's out of attack range of anything, even out of flash range from Mata or Lupo. This might be go time, though. Yeah, they're looking for that it. Massive oh. damage comes in here as Mata is going to get it all started. Shu underneath the turret is able to run away. Red buff is enough to take him down as everyone's falling. This is ludicrous. Lance respite to save the members of RNG. Yeah, this is Zia's turret that you see standing. So, Mata once again, the pulverize, the engage was ridiculous. And MLXG even being able to effectively put down all of his damage and not waste his ultimate. So, kick him into the enemy team. Ah, I like and that. Kill yeah, them yeah. with the big tree. There it is, though. The engage coming out, too. Right into the back line. Xiaohu flashes out of the way. Tempered Fate to break up this one as MLXG looking for a kick. Trying to get over the top. He nails Faker with it. Oh, and Looper gets the stun. Cosmic binding over the top. Massive play from RNG is Duke. Still trying to lock them up, but he can't do it. Mata is so good at League of Legends. They know whenever they dive in, if they can't get the key target, you just disengage. So notice MLXG at first is going in, trying to find the carry, gets knocked up, and now, okay, disengage with your RNG, just re-engage, wait one more time. The stun from Looper, straight onto Faker and Wolf, and instantly RNG, they all change target onto Faker, they take him down, Xiaohu is just trying to be a bit annoying on the side as well, and forcing Bang out. Yeah, they call him off one more time. I mean, Mata backs away, and they know that time is still in their favor. He's looking for it one more time. He was spotted out. Spence Garen? 
Oh, again, looking for it on the hunt. Good oh punch. Oh my goodness. Recovery. Three man knockup. TSM are getting destroyed. They've already lost two. Bjergsen and Svenske are trying to run for their lives. The shot is already used. Hornsa goes golden, but he's going to get taken down. Knocked up once again by Mata. Mata still with 100% kill participation. Mata is so good on Alistair. The reactive flash by Bjergsen. Good reaction time, but the fact that Mata didn't even care about that and he saw the real prize, which was the three-man pulverize, was excellent. You're out there from Mata. Nope, the diving on Korn in the mid lane and he's, I'm afraid, dead from that. There is intake though. What can he do? Surely we'll be able to finish off Korn. He's actually just left oh, no. the invisibility. Whoa, yeah, they go down! Mata comes in! Howling Gale! to a monsoon to knock him back, give the heal, and somehow they get two kills, and Pawn should have died. Yep. Instant shadow assault for Pawn, and the invisibility from Dandy as well. He flashes in to get the root when Korn was exposed because the minion wave was getting there, he didn't want that to block. But Pawn unfortunately took turret aggro, which wasn't the plan, which is why that went bad. But with Red Buff and Lizard Elder, Insect thought for sure Pawn was gonna go out. Wow. But Mata uses his flash to get just into range. What a save.